What's up guys? I'm back again with another speed tech video in Doom Eternal. So we've already went over the ballista and for now this will probably be one of my last speed tech videos as I don't really think there's any more speed tech going on in the game. That's well, not the ballista, meat hook, or dash. But with this meat hook we know that we know how the meat hook works. I mean, we can swing on it. Like a lot of people, if, if they haven't played the ancient gods, they just know that you can simply like grapple on the demons. But if you played horde mode or at least the ancient gods, you know that you can swing. So with this, it's very easy to note that if we can swing, we could probably swing further. It's not trying hard enough. Well, I don't know, but. To do this, you simply want to get, you want to find a demon. Now, this is best easy to practice if the demons are frozen. And I've also heard that if you, if you open the weapon wheel in the middle of doing this, that it makes you go faster, but on Xbox, I haven't found that useful, so I doubt it would really be useful for PlayStation or Switch. But I've seen it on PC used a lot, so it could work on console, but I've just used it best practicing. So, I can't explain the best way to do this, but you simply just want to swing and try not to hit anything. So try to like hold your hook as still as possible and jump out at the very end, and it will swing you flying. Now there's a difference between doing this. That's canceling off your speed as you can see, but if I do this, then it's throwing me a lot further, as you can see. I can use the Sire Maker here because he's standing still and he doesn't get off this platform at all, so I don't need to freeze him, but here I can kind of practice a little bit easier. So, it's kind of a little bit difficult to explain how exactly to do it, but try to hold your foot as still as possible while keeping the speed. So, I want to go up here. Don't double jump until after you get off the hook. Because as soon as it lets go, you want to double jump. Because if you double jump before you get off the hook, then it will cancel off the hook. But, yeah, that's pretty much a yeet hook. Um... Yeah, the move is called a Geekness. I don't know the name of the name, but that's what it is. I guess it's how to make the thing get off the platform, but pretty much you're just swinging yourself with the new hook, but further. I could try it with the weapon wheel, but I'll show you what really do with that difference. Yeah, see, I, I'm not very good with timing with the weapon wheel. I don't know how different that would be if I didn't use the wheel, but I'm going to try with working with now to see how far I can make it over there. Also, you're going to try to hit me being into walls or anything, because that will entirely kill you. Yeah, see, I pretty much covered the same distance, so I really don't know what the difference between using the wheel or not does. I know it increases your frames, but I think it's not full frame trap that you know, it have to do so. You don't get to go any further, but that's pretty much all for the Yeet Hook tutorial, so I hope this was useful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.